what we see unfolding in front of our eyes in the last two months, in fact, now more than two months, uh, that is ever since the 7th of October, uh, is Israel using as a pretext the events of the 7th of October to pursue uh, policies that either it pursued on a low kind of key level in the past or new policies it never did fully to implement in the past and they're using the events as a pretext to implement them now. Uh, what I mean by this is that Israel was always troubled by the Gaza Strip as a problem, as, as, as a situation it was not able to control in the same way as it could the West Bank, for instance, or the Palestinian minority inside Israel. Gaza was a problem, and as you probably all remember, they thought they had found a solution for what they called the Gaza Strip problem uh, when they withdrew the Israeli uh, settlers uh, and hoped, which didn't happen, that the Palestinian Authority would took over uh, uh, the uh, would take over, sorry, uh, the Gaza Strip, and then Israel could have kind of created there an Area A similar to Area A in the West Bank. This did not happen because of the democratic elections that took place in the Gaza Strip, among other places, uh, which brought the Hamas uh, uh, to power. Uh, then uh, Israel uh, did what it does in such a situation when it cannot control the situation. It imposes collective punishment on people. This time the collective punishment was translated into land siege and, and naval uh, blockade on the Gaza Strip. And when the Hamas reacted to that siege, as you know, Israel uh, full time uh, assaulted the Gaza Strip with uh, lethal weapons, aerial bombardment, and so and so on. And yet, uh, there was a, a sense in Israel that this is an inertia that can continue. Namely, we can kind of manage uh, every five or six years around, if you want, the confrontational round with the Hamas. Uh, and uh, in the meantime, you know, it see also the benefits from it, be it uh, training of our army, uh, not the situation there does not constitute any existential danger uh, for the state. And this is the best we can have, you know, kind of using uh, our f military force in order to maintain the siege and in order to react to the resistance. Uh, to the siege and the, and the blockade. Um, obviously, this didn't work, as we can see on the 7th of October. Something else is happening there. And then they moved to a much more ruthless and cruel uh, and, and totally immoral and illegal policy, which they could not implement before, but they're now using the events as a pretext. Namely, first of all, taking over more uh, uh, area more territory, sorry, more territory from the Gaza Strip uh, in order to create uh, a situation where these settlements that were attacked on the 7th of October would not be adjacent anymore to the Strip, that there will be a buffer zone. Secondly, pressuring the population or as much of the population as possible to leave the Strip. They hoped that even Egypt would be willing to take some of the uh, people of Gaza, and if this is not possible, maybe other countries would be willing to take it. And if this fails, at least they want to squeeze uh, the population, which already is squeezing one of the most densely populated area in the world, into even a smaller uh, enclave. Um, I don't think they think beyond that. I mean, what they feel is that they have the power to uproot the military resistance that troubled them, didn't trouble them that much until they are understood on the 7th of October that it is far more uh, serious than they ever estimated. And uh, at the same time, create a demographic and geographical situation as they've done all through the history of Zionism in Israel. You know, this balance between geography and demography creating a more space for Israel, extending Israel, and downsizing the Palestinian population as much as possible. Uh, they feel that they have a window of opportunity to do it. Maybe some of them think that uh, time may run out of it, but uh, 
This, I think, is more or less where the mindset of those who make the policy uh, is, is kind of, can be described or analyzed. 